Welcome to Awesome Code. Please subscribe to my channel and like my video. In this video, we will learn how to set a proxy in Java. To set up a proxy, we are going to use HTTP client's proxy method of a builder method. The proxy method gets an argument of the proxy selector. Proxy uh, selector selects the proxy server to use, if any, when connecting to the network resource referenced by a URL. So first we are going to import and we are going to type import java.io.io section and then we are going to import java.net java.net dot proxy selector and import java.net dot uri and import java dot net dot http dot http client and we are going to import HTTP request and also HTTP response. Uh, import java.net HTTP HTTP request and now the HTTP response. Let's see. Import java.net dot http dot http response and we are going to add to our main functions the throws uh IO exception and can also throw interrupted exception. And now we are going to uh create a http client so this would be http client and http client by calling http client dot new builder We are going to use a proxy selectors of method, which returns a proxy selector, which uses that given proxy address for all HTTP and HTTPS requests. So, and we are going to call proxy and pass in proxy selector. Proxy selector off and use inet socket address 
Here you are going to pass in your proxy host, proxy host, the proxy IP address, and the port. So I'm using port 80. And then we are going to call build. And now we are going to create a PDP request. And I'm going to call it a PDP request. I'm calling a TDP request new builder. URI and Pass in URI create method. And here you need to give in the uh, URL which you are going to make a request. And then call build on it to create our HTTP request. Now I'm going to create uh, or get the HTTP response back. So HTTP response of type string. And we are going to get a response as string. Response. and we are going to call HTTP clients send method to send a request and we are going to pass in HTTP request and we are going to use HTTP response body handler uh, and we are going to call its offspring method to get the response as a string and now we are going to print the status code and response body. So we are going to use uh, system out to print out to console. So this will be system dot out dot print line status code. Response dot status code and system dot out dot print line, and we are going to in the body now uh, on a new line, adding a new line vector and the body. And we are going to call response uh, body method. And we can save our program. This is uppercase.
I also need to import Java net inet socket address. So that would be import Java dot net dot i net socket address. To keep on learning, please subscribe to my channel, ask some code, like my video, keep supporting me, and thank you for watching.